the history I gave you is a young woman on oral contraceptive pills which increases risk of thrombosis obviously but also complaining of abdominal pain suggesting there's something going on in her abdomen the liver and it's somewhat hard to identify portal tract so I'll identify them for you here's a portal tract somewhere here here's another portal tract somewhere here and you'll notice that this blood that's accumulating is centered around the central veins although I will confess that it is involves all three zones of the liver when you look at this on higher power when I look at liver biopsies I I always like to know exactly where I am am I around this portal tract and here's a portal tract or am I around a central vein although I do not see central veins here but what is very obvious is that there's a lot of blood but the question you need to ask yourself is where is the blood there's clearly blood in the sinusoids as here the sinusoids look dilated but there's also blood replacing the hepatic trabeculae and this is referred to as a red cell trabecular lesion which is very suggestive of this entity which is Bud Chiari syndrome Here's a higher power look at the red cell trabeculae lesions. Again, you can see red blood cells occupying and replacing trabeculae. The hepatocytes that you see look very atrophic. By that, I mean they look small, and there is significant dropout of, of hepatocytes. In fact, I would go further and say there is collapse, and this becomes relevant when we start reviewing the trichrome stain. Here's another look where you see blood in the sinusoid, so there's congestion of the sinusoids. In fact, there's dilatation and peliosis around the zone 3 region. But additionally, notice the hepatocytes. Again, they look small and atrophic, and this is what Bud Chiari syndrome does. It, it, the hepatocytes immediately around the central vein, remember that's where the maximum back pressure accumulates, those hepatocytes tend to get small and atrophic. There's interesting portal changes that occur in Bud Chiari syndrome. These often turn out to be a red herring. Remember, some of these patients can present with increased alkaline phosphatase, which would then suggest a biliary process. And if you narrow down and focus only on the biliary pathology, you could go down the tube. So here's a case in point. There's a bit of fibrosis in the portal tract. There's also a fair amount of bile ductular proliferation. In fact, you occasionally see copper accumulation as well. So don't let that fool you. So this is indeed was Bud Chiari syndrome, but what I also gave you was a trichrome stain, and I gave that to you in an attempt to trick you into believing that this is fibrosis. This is not fibrosis. This is indeed collapse. Fibrosis appears darker blue. That said, Every trichrome stain looks somewhat different, and there's variations in the trichrome stain from institution to institution. But I can assure you, this in our lab, this very pale blue color typically implies collapse. This is not fibrosis, and this is collapse. In fact, you see it very nicely here. You again see these red cell trabecular lesions, and you can see tr significant dropout of hepatocytes around here, and that pale blue appearance. This is not fibrosis. This is collapse.